so in part one of making Ryujin, the tutorials, we worked on the scales. So I did one set of scales, and then you had to do it again here, here, and here. So in part two, we're going to focus on just collapsing the outside leg. So this one and this one. So basically everything inside where I draw we'll, cl we'll collapse this as well and here these bits and the exact same again on this side so it's just this one in general here and here and we're going to forget about the other one till another part later on because this one's in the centre you need to collapse all these creases in order to make it lie flat so it's easier to do this one because it's the exact same as that one but because it's at the edge of the paper we can collapse it flat the now so we're going to do that just for this video so part 2 of Ryujin 3.5 tutorial let's go and I just realised I forgot to pre-crease the scales the edge scales but I'll do that later on so the first step in collapsing this like we're going to focus on this one first because that's how my papers set out. It was like that in the first clip, but then I turned it around, so it's like this. So the first step we need to that we we can make these mountain folds. We can start collapsing inwards, which will make this part easier. But in order to fully collapse the leg we need to collapse these creases and the good thing about this is because these creases are hidden inside the model they do not need to be perfect because you won't see them in the end result this is what I mean this is just a wee, a wee example of the test folding so first of all let me see about that. you need to have these creases in place first and then once these are in place you can then make these ones and these ones and then collapse this part so what I mean is these are the creases put them in place and then you see all the colours line up then you can make the mountain fold and the same here valley fold, mountain fold, then you end up with something like this. And then it's just a matter of taking your time, putting each one in place, and then that's that. It goes flat. Or it doesn't need to be flat because it's completely hidden, you won't even see it. And of course this won't lie flat because it's too small to fully collapse. And then the leg, roughly done. See when that's done, that's done, that will lie flat. Right, let's do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this part just inside here, roughly in place. So I'm going to collapse this part in place roughly, and then collapse all this, so I'm just going to mountain fold, valley fold, all the way up. Peg it about here, do the same here, collapse this. So this is collapsed, 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 and then we can finally collapse this part and then fully make this part flat. So we need to keep the crease part in with me, and then we can get rid of these lines because we don't need them. So just have a seat in the background. I'm just going to extend these down the now.
Probably a bit easier if it collapse this part first. Just store the mountain and valley holes. after this one. Back to peg it here now. Then we should be able to start putting these legs in shape better. And also to make sure that once you've done this part put in these mountain folds in place. So this one yep. put in these mountain folds in place to make sure these pleats stay in place as well. So the mountain fold, valley, mountain, valley, and then valley here.
piece there. Alright, stand up and do this. To make it easier to collapse this part, put something under it that will lift it up like this. So I'm going to need to find an object that's big enough. So give me a second. I'll just get for it. I'm just going to get a wee weight. Put it here. Yeah, that's much better. Now the paper's upright. Should be easier. There we go, that's the right angle.
remember these kisses. Yep. So this is the mountain road we've got here. And this is where they start to meet up with these half creases. So the mountain fold that comes over. And that's it right here. Hopefully you can see them. So I'm going to see the mountain fold there and a big valley fold. Valley fold. Valley, valley, mountain, mountain, valley. Valley, valley, mountain. Valley, valley, mountain. So like that. This comes down the way. Like that. Done, that's done. In place, in place. Mountain fold, this is the mountain fold, then the valley fold. So one, and then two. Mountain fold, then valley fold. That's the mountain fold, and this will be the valley fold. to this part once we've got this side done. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to start making these this mountain fold first and then the valley bring it down then the mountain then the valley then mountain and valley so in total Mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley, six in total. So we've got the first mountain. Oops. We have the mountain fold here. And then the valley, two, mountain, valley, four, mountain, and then valley. So we're going to have to bring these creases up to this mountain fold. So we're just going to, I'm just going to keep doing that now.
one face. So the mountain fold comes up here and then down. So we're going to need to bring this edge up to here as best we can. And it doesn't it doesn't need to be neat as long as it's mountain valley fold all the way up. Then we can easily collapse this part. to try and do it and get footage of. mountain folds, these creases. do this bit off camera because it's quite tricky for the angle. Right now we have each crease mountain valley all the way up to this crease here which has this one here. And we've got these in place. Now we can in fact, we've also got these in place. Now we can slowly work on these creases. Now we can start, because we've got mountain fold, mountain fold, valley, mountain, in fact, yeah, mountain, valley, mountain, in place, so the mountain, the valley, and then this bottom mountain fold, this one here, in place. Now we can start to collapse these ones, and as soon as we put all these in place, this becomes much this this becomes flat. But because right now these plates don't line up with these plates, it's going to look messy. So don't do not worry. So as you can see here, we've got mountain valley, mountain valley, 
one, two, three, four. On the fifth one, which should be a mountain, you open it up and make this the mountain fold here. So make this square a mountain fold, and then here as well. So basically we're just going to take it one by one. We're going to put this in place, go to the next one, put that in place, next one, next one, next one, and so on to the end. Then by then it should be fully collapsed. Flat. That has to be. So I'm trying to zoom in. So this pleat here, I'm going to need to open up. This pleat here is this mountain fold. So I'll open this up and then make these creases. And there should be a square here, which there is right here. See, this is the valley fold here, and then when I fold this over, this will touch here and close fine, but I can't do that now until I get probably this one in place first. So the mountain fold, then mountain, mountain, valley. the end as well, which is the same as this one. There's my square.
Gesund. This part here was quite confusing, but I don't know how to do it. I figured it out. So you have something like this, and the dotty does a mountain, and the solid is a valley fold. Then it lies completely fat, flat, no fat. Yep, so that's bottom one's the valley fold, not just this one. Slowly getting there. Do the exact same over here. So one, two, three.
rastlos Friedhof. Uh, I'll just need to do the same thing here, get this set up. Set up. There we go. Now it's just the center part. So we've got five fold, which is the center bit. Five, five, five mountain. Half mountain. So I'm guessing there is a big mountain touch. Yep, so it touches this bottom part right in here. So I'm going to need to make, hopefully you can see this alright, but again, you'll have it on your crease pattern. This mountain fold, the, the one on the right, because this mountain fold starts all the way here, and then automatically it goes into a valley fold, which gets locked inside. So we need to make this one first. I have to undo this paper. Here's the square, and that is this square, this wee one right here. The mountain fold comes up just above it, that's where it stops, which is right here. So I've basically got everything in place. We've made, or well, I've made this mountain fold here, but we can't collapse it flat because this mountain fold goes all the way up to this side as well. So it's the exact same on the other side. We can collapse this side, uh, this side flat first, and then to fully collapse it flat and puff out the scales, we need to do the same again on the other side. But we'll do that once everything here is all squished together nicely. So. That's half. Hopefully you can see this, but alright, I'll try and zoom in. There we go. Because 
this layer goes in here, this one comes round and this one is inside, hopefully fully enough. again remake this mountain fold. We've already got this first one in place. We need to redo this second one. That's what I've ended up with. I can't fully, well I could fully flatten it the now, but I know I need to do it on the other side and then I need to puff out this layer upwards so I can then make the scales. So I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to do the exact same again on this side, which is this side. We've did it on the bigger side, so it is the exact same process, on this side only, there's less long mountain folds, there's only one basically, or a valley fold. And then we can hopefully squash it all together, and then puff this layer out, I'll figure that out, and then make the scales, and then collapse this leg. And then do everything again on this side. <laughs> right, so I've did it. I've did it on this side now. We did it this side first. And then I said do it on this side so we can collapse this flat. So I've done it here. But I made this mountain fold as well, so over this one. That says you have to do it here as well, but I'm not sure because this mountain fold ends here. So I'm not too sure how that goes about. And again, it stops here, it's only a mountain fold, and it completely stops, so I'm guessing you don't do it here. So I'm just going to collapse it back as normal, so I'm going to make it again, all these mountain folds and valley folds, and then bring all the paper inwards, if that makes sense. So again, This is where the, 
the scales will be on the left hand side so you have to do it on the right to bring this in closer and then it's just a matter of pulling up the paper but I'm not too sure what, what, you're, what, you're at, what you're actually supposed to do here in the first place so I'm just going to do it my way which I'm pretty sure it works so I'm going to bring this together first Because I can do that, and then I can easily force this bit of paper down and force it up, and that gives me the the, pleat, the the height for the pleats that I need. So I'm fine with that. That's going to work. And again, you don't need to be too picky on how this looks on the inside. You won't actually see it. So maybe this, is, this is a bit messy. Uh, where am I? how that looks inside. I know it's going to work, fine. I can bring this together and then fold these down. It should make it flat. So there we go, that's that one done. Again, it doesn't need to be doesn't need to be neat. If you if you really want it to be neat, then take your time doing this. Make sure every crease is in place. But I'm not too bothered because when you do that, glue it all, fold it down. You won't you'll, you'll barely notice it. Just turn this paper around. And then again, I did it on this side. So just make sure it's not as neat on this side. I have no idea why. Now that we've got this collapsed and pegged, we can finally collapse the leg. So it's going to take a while to do this. I'm going to keep looking at the crease pattern. So the final part in the leg, you don't need to worry too much about how the layers are because normally it's mostly it's just collapse it regularly and then you need to reverse fold each part. One leg collapsed. And then now it's just a matter of to 
make, you just need to reverse fold each of the parts, but I'll do that at the end eventually. Now we have collapsed this leg. So everything we did in this video, you'll do the exact same over here. So bring up, we've already got these pleats up first. Make them all mountain and valley fold up to this line. Undo them here, put in these pleats in place. Then bring over this mountain fold, over, collapse it, do the exact same again on this side, bring the mountain fold all the way up to here, make the mountain and valley folds, unfold the layers here, put in these creases in place, collapse it back up and then finish off the last foot or the second foot. Then that's this whole part done. Then we can move on to the scales and transition units. So thanks for watching everyone, and finally I can upload the second part, I'm so happy.